Hi everyone, it's Dr. Gundur here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm sorry, I've been away for a very long time. Um, I started the channel um, and then I kind of disappeared. But there is a very good reason for it. I'm still very much a medical doctor by profession. I'm very passionate about personal development and um, health and resilience coaching, helping people uh, to overcome challenges of any form that they're experiencing. And if through my own experiences I'm able to help you, then um, that would be my biggest honor. Um, the reason I'm jumping on here is to uh, take you on a journey that I'm on currently, a very challenging journey that's testing me to my limit, that's pushing me to delve deeper into uh, the strength, uh, the my inner reservoir of strength each day. Each day is bringing with it its own set of challenges. Um, so I wanted to share this journey with you all in the hope that um, it will reach to someone, help someone who is going through something similar um, and also in the hope that I can learn something from you. So please do feel free to share with me. Um, so I am a full-time carer at the moment for an extremely, extremely a uh, dear loved one who has been diagnosed with Alzheimer's and vascular dementia and it's this journey that I am on with um, with my loved one. I don't want to go into more details at this point in time. Um, and I want to start this series because I am um, realizing there are a lot of loopholes in dementia care across the board. Um, as a medical doctor and now as someone on the other side caring for someone with dementia I think we can do a lot better we can go along we have a long way to go in achieving optimal care um, for the most vulnerable uh, patients in our society um, I think the first thing that so you know, I'll be sharing with you snippets of what I come across, what I have found helpful, what I am finding challenging. So I invite you on this journey with me. Um, I think the first thing that jumps out to me is just the lack of awareness of what dementia actually is. Um, I think I'm slightly at an advantage because I am from a medical background. I know roughly what it is. I'm not an expert, but I know roughly what it is so um, uh, I don't make presumptions but there are a lot of people who just don't understand who don't realize what it is um, I think it's especially true from the uh, from the background that I come from so in the Asian subcontinent what I am finding a lot is uh, either it's denial people don't really want to accept that this condition exists or they just don't know what it is so if you don't know what it is uh, you're not going to understand what someone else is going through what the, uh, the main carer is going through and this is what I'm finding really challenging connecting to you know, um, <clears throat> uh, connecting to people back home and trying to make them understand what dementia actually is. Um, so I think a simplistic way of explaining it to someone that I have found useful is just saying dementia is a real disease. It is a condition that affects the brain. It's a very physical disease. A lot of people label it under mental health um, which it is because it's to do with the brain but it's much more than that it's very uh, it's a very physical uh, disease where the brain cells slowly die because of toxins that have accumulated over the brain cells over a number of years so it's not just something that happens overnight um, and so there's a lot that can be done to prevent it we'll come to that you know later 
um, in this series um, of raising awareness about dementia. Um, but I think the first thing is to normalize talking about it, to normalize saying, yes, this is what the diagnosis is. Um, and once you know what it is, you then can correlate um, with the symptoms. So with memory loss, with um, changes in behavior, with repetitive um, behavior. So with, um, with my loved one, it, it all started with the memory. First, it was the short term memory that was going and then slowly, slowly, I realized the orientation uh, was taking hold. Um, there were changes in personality, becoming a little bit more agitated, irritated. Um, and these are the early signs. So if you notice this, I urge you, please do not listen to anyone. I had so many people, uh, you know, members of my own family saying to me, oh, it's nothing, you know, it's just age. The one thing that I, you know, it's key to uh, know is dementia, whatever form, them different types of dementia, whatever form of dementia is not a normal part of aging. It is not a normal part of aging. Um, and so if you feel your close one, your loved ones are showing these early signs, please seek help because it takes time the the process is long it takes time for someone to be assessed someone to get on these medications there are medications out there they, there is no cure yet but it can slow down the progression and um and buy your precious time with your loved one it is a progressive life limiting condition unfortunately and there's a lot of research going on into it so i think my take home from this snippet is if you are noticing your loved one getting any of these early signs of memory loss or uh, changes in personality, behavior, or just not being themselves, um, and especially if they have other uh, related medical conditions like diabetes, heart disease, then please factor dementia in um, because there is a lot of help and support out there um, and early diagnosis, uh, can, can buy a lot of time. So I hope uh, you all found this useful. Please join me on this journey. I'll be making, uh, you know, creating snippets of uh, whatever I find useful. So please connect with me. Please share your own experiences as well. I'm happy to listen, happy to help, happy to join this journey with you. So um, until next time, um, have a good day and I'll speak to you soon.